firstly go to the OCR website and download under assessment preparation pre-release materials the large data set and this is what it will look like. First of all save um, as a slightly easier name, I use data set. Now I'm going to highlight these five rows as this information is going to be helpful later. Next I'm going to colour the tabs. There are five tabs. First one's information, second one is the mode of travel in 2011, then 2001, then the age structure for 2011 and age of 2001. So colouring the first one in blue, then go ahead and colour in the other tabs. And now let's add some context to the data by adding a map. So we're going to use the extra sheet can download the map with this video and insert it by using insert picture picture from file now for easier referencing I'm going to freeze the top row and the first three columns so go to cell D2 then view freeze panes and then your top row and the first three columns will be frozen so every time you scroll across and up and down you'll still be able to see the headings. Go ahead and freeze the panes for the other three tabs. Next add some colour to the top row. I'm going to do that by adding green to those that walk to work. Green for environmentally friendly and then some orange for those traveling by public transport and red for those going in a car. Once I've done that I'm going to color in the regions just to highlight where they're from. So for northeast is yellow. Now a little trick here is to go to colors, more colors click on the little droplet, go to the colour you want, click OK and then that colour will be in your colour palette. And go back then to column B, highlight the north east, go to your fill and then yellow and then similarly for the north west. Being pink, up to the top with the fill, clicking on pink and do this for the other regions. So here's one I did earlier, all the tabs are coloured and also you can easily see the colours of the main regions in England and Wales in column B. Mm -hmm. 